What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Arena. No, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, I'm going to be doing some Arena today because I've been slacking on my Arena points. And yeah, super slacking. But the topic of discussion today is going to be how to determine whether or not a rune is good for you. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about it on stream yesterday and I figured it'd make an excellent uh, video game topic simply because um, a lot of players don't really know what a good rune is, you know. Um, typically the tendency is to, you know, just look for main stats. And once you have your main stat that you're looking for, like your HP percent or your speed or whatever, uh, the absolute disregard for substats. So I'm going to give you guys some techniques and strategies to improve your game from wherever you're at in the game, whether it's the beginning of the game, end of the game, wherever you're at, uh, to help you guys become uh, more successful in your rune selection. Okay, so typically as you go through, the first thing you need to do, and this is like a personal goal that you guys need to set for yourself, is learn your box, okay? If you learn nothing else, if you don't learn about any other monsters in the game, learn your box. Uh, a lot of players are, um, you know, in, in this mindset that are like, well, if I only had this unit, or if I only had this unit, or if I only had this unit, I would win. Fuck those units, okay? We're going to talk about your units you need to learn your box okay now the reason why I said learn your box so for instance uh, let's take an example here uh, let's say the only monsters that I had in my box were Xeroz, Bernard, Megan and Lucian so what you need to do is you need to go through on your monsters and you need to learn their skills okay you need to look at what their skills do uh, let's for instance Megan's a, uh, you know she increases the attack bar of all allies by 20% and increases uh, the their attack power and defense by two turns so you're like hmm so if this monster increases the attack bar, which means that she uh, makes it so we can go more often, and she also buffs, makes us stronger, when would I want her to go in order of combat? Probably very early. So I would want this unit fast. So she's probably going to need speed, right? So essentially that's what you're going to do. You're going to go through, you're going to look at the skills, you're going to see what they do, read what they do, understand what they do in combat, and ask yourself, where in combat would I want this skill to happen? In the beginning, the middle, or the end? And that's how you're going to determine what attack order you're going to need and also what kind of stats you're probably going to want. For instance, if you're building a healer. Let's let's pull a random healer out of here. Um, let's say we're building Chasun. How often do you want Chasun to go? And do you need, if, if Chasun is your healer, okay, because she has all these heal skills here, um, is is it important for you for to have Chasun to survive? Probably. So she's probably going to need some HP, defense, and speed, right? Things like that. Okay, so after you figure out and you start to learn, make it a goal for yourself to learn one unit a day. You know, figure out one unit a day, learn their skills, what they do. After you have their skills in place in your mind and you have a general idea, uh, now you're going to look at what type of unit they are. So if typically the, the basic rune recommendations for that unit is support, you're going to... Um, you know, let, let's say as a support unit are going to be like speed, HP, defense, right? Um, uh, for the build, let's say speed in slot 2, HP in slot 4, defense in slot 6. Then you have to understand that most support units are going to require the same types of substats. So for support units, you're going to need speed, speed substats, resistance substats, HP substats, defense substats, accuracy substats, right? So not necessarily in that order. Um, if I was going to give it an order, it'd be like speed, HP, defense, accuracy, resistance, right? So order of priority. If you have all five of those substats, then it's an amazing rune. It needs to be 15 ASAP, right? Especially if it's a five star or above. Now that's that's the general prescription for uh, support units. So if you're building a support type unit after my game crashes here, if you're building a support type unit, that's, uh, that's an arena loss and a waste of a wing, so salty. Um, but if you're building a support type unit, that's typically what you guys are going to be looking at. Now, if you're building an attack type, you know, unit, um, you know, you, it depends on the attacker, but usually it's speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, okay? Um, those are the top four and then everything else that follows after that are going to take precedence as well. So now knowing, uh, you know, what those required things are, that's what you guys need to be looking for when you guys are shopping your runes. Hold on a sec, let me go back and fight this guy since he got a free victory. Ridiculous! Um, but that's what you guys are looking for. So when you're shopping runes, right, so now you get a rune drop, you know. You get a rune drop, you're going through the dungeon, you're like, boom! got that main stat 
right after you see that main stat, you need to look at those substats. Because if those substats look like HP plus two, uh, you know, speed plus zero, and uh, HP or an attack plus 17, you need to sell that rune. And that's, and typically, you know, without having to like go through each individual rune stat, you're looking like out of the stats that I named. So for support stats for, or excuse me, for support builds and for attack builds, if if it's less than two or three of stats that match those particular things that I listed, then you need to get rid of that room immediately. There's no room for discussion. It's not a maybe. It's not a maybe if I click my heels three times and, you know, end up back home, it'll turn into a good rune. Or maybe if I do raid, I can get like five million gems. No. So, you know, that, and that's typically the thing. The more picky you are, especially um, in the beginning, the faster you guys are going to move forward in the game. Uh, obviously, when you first start the game, you just want to get your basic rune sets. But after you have a rune set that works, it's time to start getting more selective in the runes that you allow yourself to uh, put in your box. Always, of course, like get your basic stats down, your speed, your HP, your death, or your attack, crit rate or crit damage attack, you know, in 2, 4, and 6. But from there on, substats is like dating, okay? When, when you're dating, right, and, and I, hope, I hope you're doing this when you're dating. But when you're dating and you're looking at some, a potential suitor, male or female, whatever you're into, um, you know, you don't say, all right, hey, yeah, that's cool. Um, he or she is attractive, but um, but they're a bum. They have, they have no clothes and they walk around with holes in their socks and they don't clip the toenails, right? <laughs> but that's okay though, because it's all right, because they're cute, right? That's not what you do, right? There's a, a, there's a certain amount of criteria that you guys are looking for to make sure that, that it fits. So, again, guys, it's just like when you guys are looking at these runes, um, your substats are what are going to determine your success. Main stats are whatever. But that's how, basically, you're going to determine if you're going to keep a rune or not. Again, two or three of the substats match exactly the list that you need. So, support, speed, HP, death, accuracy, resistance, those five. Um, if it doesn't have any of those, it's a sell because it doesn't fit on any unit. Um, and then for attack types, that you're looking for speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent. Okay, those are you know basically the four things: HP, defense, resistance, bonuses. Okay, um, and you know, are there uh, niche builds, runes like units that need crit rate? You know, uh, like Undine or like uh, you know some of the the Neo Stone fighters, of course. Uh, but those, obviously, if they need crit rate for something to happen, get crit rate, please get crit rate. Um, but those are just niche things. But the general, for general speaking, that's how you're going to determine. And really, the, the question that you have to ask yourself after you learn your units, guys, is who can I use this rune on? Because if you can't use it on anybody, it's no point for you to keep it. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, especially, like, you know, when you get those weird-ass runes that have, like, crit damage and accuracy, it's like, what the right because you're looking at this rune and you're like well who the hell would I use this on okay well if I get a barbaric king who has an automatic crit on three and he I need to increase his accuracy like come on who's thinking like that nobody so get more picky on your runes um, you know and you'll find yourself being becoming a lot more successful guys get better substats get better runes win the game so yeah so that's it that's all I want to talk about today um, I'm just gonna do some more arena and enjoy these these points and kind of just be salty about that arena wing that i wasted but thank you guys so much for tuning in as always this is your motivational gamer and we'll see you guys in the next video